Hi folks, this is Jay. I hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at the resurrec resurrection of Jesus, uh, a harmony of the resurrection accounts based on reason and faith, R. Foster and P. Marston, Monarch Publications, 1989, page 79 to 108. The resurrection of Jesus, a harmony of the resurrection accounts based upon the outline given in reason and faith, R. Foster and P. M. Marston, Monarch Publications, 1989, page 79108. And I want to bring up two issues. Um, first of all, in the resurrection accounts, um, we read on page 5 of this article. Um, that the Gospels, when they're putting the material together, some will use uh, incompleteness sometimes. So, incompleteness in reporting the presence of characters. In, for, in, for example, in John 19.25, Mary Madeleine, Salome, and Mary, the wife of Cleopas, are reported as being at the foot of the cross. However, only Mary Madeleine is mentioned as going to the tomb early on the Sunday morning. However, John hardly expected his readers to assume that a young woman was wandering around alone in the dark city streets and when she arrived back from the tomb her words were they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they have put him John 22 her plural indicates that she had companions with her but John has neglected to mention them Luke also shows that this practice where in Luke 24:12 he names only Peter as going to the tomb but in Luke 24:24 refers to some who went there it's clear that from the point of view of the gospel writers, mentioning one name only does not preclude others being present. The principle was also applied to the angels at the tomb, as we shall see later. Second, telescoping. For example, Luke clearly exhibits this principle. If we just read Luke's account of the resurrection, one would get the impression that all Jesus' appearances and his ascension took place in just one day. Yet in Acts which was also written by Luke, he clearly states that the event stretched over 40 days. In his gospel, he telescopes events in order to bring out a particular perspective. Matthew also uses telescoping, especially in the events surrounding the angel's initial descent and later conversation with the woman. Telescoping is not at all uncommon in historical reporting. more until the evening of the resurrection the one exception to all this is Thomas who may have gone further than a field sorry these disciples are mentioned no more until the evening of the resurrection the one example to all this is Thomas who may have gone further so those are just two issues about harmonizing the resurrection accounts um, that's the title if you want to read you want to read um, you can get it on answeringislam.org and the resurrection dash harmony dash dot html okay and uh, it's a very very good very very good article okay thank you for listening and take care